Hey guys, this is The Coach with mwilleringmedia.com and today we're going to be going over how to set up parental controls for your kids on Windows 7 or for anybody else for that matter, for your husband, wife, whatever. And um, so that's what, we're going to, that's what we're going to do today and I have made up some false accounts here just so that uh, we can kind of get things rolling. But what I'm going to do is these are, you, first of all, let's, let's start all over. Let's go down to the start button at the lower left hand corner of your computer. And then I want you to click on control panel and then click on parental controls. And then we want to get to this spot right here. Okay, I'm gonna double click on Bill. All right, and it's gonna ask me to log into my Windows Live account and if you don't have one you just sign up for one and it says I don't okay who scared me for a minute okay now here's what we can do we have web filtering here okay um, we can turn off web filtering uh, and, you'll, and you'll have uh, reports that'll be generated and so on. There's a there's a bunch of things you can uh, you can do here. It's pretty neat. Um, you can allow list only only allows websites with a parent that has added to the allow list. Child friendly, general interest, online communication basic, warn on adult. Uh, so you could set it just for anything you want. Here's here's the. Uh, see, I'm not going to save that just for the heck of it. Um, say I want to block. Um, Hey, let's pick CNN. <laughs> so we'll just go to CNN.com and we're going to go ahead and block for this person only or for all children or for everyone. Let's just block Bill. Okay. And you want to go ahead and save your changes. Okay. So that now is blocked. That website is blocked. CNN. And here's the list. Uh, you can look at the uh, the report as to where the person is going on the internet or trying to go. Uh, contact management with con with contact management, you can control your child chats with and emails too, and so on, uh, which is which is pretty cool. Time limits. This is kind of another neat one here. Let's go ahead and turn on time limits. All right, and let's say between the hours of oh midnight and ten AM okay you want to block Bill from using uh, the computer. You'll go ahead and you'll click save. Okay, so between the hours of Sunday at twelve AM and ten AM he is not able to use the uh, computer. So here's another another little thing here, game restrictions. This is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and turn on game restrictions here. And there's different levels as you can see. Um, there is early childhood, you know, the ratings here, E for everyone, E for 10 plus, teen, mature, and adults only. You could set the settings uh, on here if you want, um, which is pretty nice. Just make sure you have on, turn on game restrictions, click that and click save. Uh, program restrictions. I'm not going to save that, by the way. Just, um, we'll turn on. We'll turn on uh, program restrictions. Let's see what we get here. Um, let's say that we want. Hmm, let's say we don't want them to use Microsoft Microsoft Office or the MSN toolbar or maybe Nero whatever you know it doesn't really matter what it is just make sure and these, by the way these are all the programs you have on your computer and so all you have to do is click save and it's pretty easy I mean it's just that simple there's there's more to it you can get you can get into greater detail but let me tell you this is a great way to circumvent your child from going to porn sites uh, to uh, get certain gaming sites and you can actually like I said you can actually put in the exact um, page that you want them to be blocked so which is kind of cool so anyway this is uh, the coach at mwillerymedia.com make sure you see us uh, at uh, here at our YouTube channel or at Facebook and while you're here at, at uh, 
YouTube, go ahead and click on subscribe. We'd love to have you. And if you have any questions, make sure you post your comments. All right. Well, have a great day and we'll talk to you later.